With great powers come great responsibilities. All successful stories have a foundation in failure that we don't know. Today on Quanto Adivesia, we will be counting down on the greatest comeback story. Yes, bless you. And before the countdown, just know that these people did remarkable things. They scaled obstacles and made their footprints in the sands of time. And even though some are still deceased, they are still used as remarkable examples and also mentors to so many people. You couldn't have said it better, Dougal. So let's get the show on the road. Today we are counting down to the greatest comeback stories. Here are top five individuals that made a mark on the world. <laughs> Number five, we have Abraham Lincoln. Failing in business in 1831, suffering a nervous breakdown in 1836, defeated in his run for president in 1856, Abraham Lincoln was no stranger to rejection and failure. Rather than taking these signs as a motivation for surrendering, he refused to stop trying his best. In this man's great words, my great concern is not whether you have failed, but whether you are content with your failure. Lincoln was elected in 1861 as the 16th President of the United States of America. The amount of rejection you receive is not a defining factor. Success is still within your reach. And at number 4 we have Albert Einstein. The word Einstein is associated with intelligence and synonymous with genius. Yet, it is a famous fact that the pioneer of the theory of general relativity, Albert Einstein himself, could not speak fluently until the age of nine. His rebellious nature led to the expulsion from school and he was refused admittance to the Zurich Polytechnic School. His earlier setbacks did not stop him from winning a Nobel Prize in physics in 1921. After all, he believed that success is failure in progress. To this day, his research has influenced various aspects of life, including culture, religion, art, and even late night TV. <laughs> Just because you haven't achieved anything yet, doesn't mean you can't be an Einstein yourself. Number three, we have Bill Gates. Bill Gates was a Harvard dropout. He co-owned a business called Taff O Data, which was a true failure. However, skill and the passion for computer programming turned his failure into the pioneer of famous software company Microsoft and the then 31-year-old into the world's youngest self-made billionaire. In his own words, it's fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. This isn't to say that dropping out of Harvard will make you into a billionaire, but maybe that shiny degree isn't worth as much as the drive and passion to succeed. If you haven't found your passion like Bill Gates, this will help you. Number 2. Michael Jordan I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games 26 times. I have been trusted to take the winning game short and missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed. This quote by retired basketball legend Michael Jordan in the Nike advertisement speaks for itself. It would be an easy misconception that Jordan's basketball skills revolve around natural talent. In fact, in his earlier years, basketball coaches had trouble looking past the fact that Jordan didn't reach the minimum height. It was years of effort, practice, and failure that made the star we know today. Michael Jordan's success all comes down to his intrinsic motivation, one of the most invisible types of motivation that drives people to success. Walt Disney stands solid as our number one. Mickey Mouse creator Walt Disney dropped out of school at a young age in a failed attempt at joining the army. One of his earlier ventures, Lafogram Studios, went bankrupt due to his lack of ability to run a successful business. He was once fired from a Missouri newspaper for not being creative enough. Yet today, the genius behind Disney Studios is responsible for generations of childhood memories and dreams. From Snow White to Frozen, 
Disney will continue to entertain the world for generations to come. The logic behind this is simple. We don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we are curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Welcome back and that was our number one for today's countdown. I hope we have inspired you all with all these listed personalities. Yeah, of course I've been inspired. I know. Our purpose in sharing these success stories is that they may encourage you to keep striving towards your dream and keep believing that achieving the impossible is actually possible. With that being said, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. My name is Adugo. And I am blessed. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Bye.